Hi, this is Michael White from MusicProductionGuide.com and you are watching Wink Sound. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to organize your inserts and sounds. Typically, over the course of mixing, what will end up happening is that we apply plugins across things and we process them and we get used to them being a certain way. But over the course of the time, as we add additional tracks and do more overdubs and more kind of editing work, a lot of these plugin settings that once worked don't always necessarily fit so well. And sometimes I feel it's better to just start fresh. Now this doesn't mean eliminating the plugin, so there's a great way to work with the plugin instead of bypassing it, we can deactivate it. And by deactivating it, it will negate the plugin while holding on to the settings. So a nice little shortcut for doing that and doing it across the whole mix is by holding the control option and command key. If you're working in a Windows computer, then that would be the control alt and start key. By clicking on the plugin here, I can actually make it inactive all the way across the session. So all plugins on that line across all of the tracks will get negated. So if you see here, if I click on this guy, it'll deactivate all of those plugins. This also works with auxiliary sounds. And so I can do this as well, and this will eliminate any feeds to effects. Now, of course, they're still there, so you can always activate them by Control command clicking or Control window clicking on a PC, and you get the same effect. So now I can activate this end and open it up and feed it however I want to feed it or change the settings. So this activation and deactivation by holding the Option key does it across all the tracks. To start off with, you're probably not going to need to see all of these things displayed here, and it may get a little bit confusing. So if we move our cursor down to the very lower left of the window here, we can take off or decide what it is exactly that we want to see. Since we have no instruments in this particular mix, I'm going to take that away. I can also take away the additional sends, and then when I need them, I can open them up. If I get my mix going right with the first five set of plugins, maybe I don't need to go any farther than that. But I can hide that as well, and this will simplify the mix display. So now, as you're working with your settings, everything is kind of laid out just exactly what you need. Wink Sound is your source for free music and audio technology videos. Join the conversation by following Wink Sound on Twitter and YouTube to keep up with everything you need to know about music and audio technology.